Hello, my name is Catherine Basu. I am the owner of Fit Armadillo and an ACE certified personal trainer. And I'm taking a break from working with my own clients to answer a fan question for you. And that question was, what can I do to improve my 5K running time? Love this question. I actually have three ways to answer it. So I'm going to just dive right in and get to the answer. The first thing you can do to improve your 5K running time is to incorporate interval training. So interval training is a very general term. All it really means is you're breaking up your training into different intervals, different segments of varying lengths and speed. So when you're starting out, you're doing run-walk intervals, a running speed and a walk speed, and you're probably not even timing the different run and walk speeds, and you're probably not timing how long you're running or walking for, especially during a general, just regular training run. And that's totally fine. And that's what you do to start improving your running speed and just actually be able to run 5K. But you can also use this strategy of interval training to do a speed workout that will really help you improve your 5K running time and should only be done two times a week at most and probably only one time a week if you want to keep improving your 5K running time and not getting injured. So definitely keep that in mind as I explain this to you, even though you probably do interval training as a beginner, if you're watching as a beginner, it's not the same idea for this example. All right, so making your interval training routine into a speed workout, the way to do that is to look at your last three mile run, whether that was an actual race or a three mile solid three mile run, and calculate your average speed per mile. Now, don't worry, you don't have to do a lot of crazy math on this because there's some awesome running pace calculators out there. I'm going to link them below. But I do want to provide an example for you, and I'm going to use a very simple, perfect race that was a 30-minute race for three miles. And so we know that the average pace there was 10 minutes per mile. So that's for my example, 10 minutes per mile is the average pace. You want to find your own. And then what you'll do for this workout is run one minute at that average pace and then 30 seconds at a pace that's 30 seconds faster per mile and keep repeating that pattern throughout your run. So you're going to look at yours, like I said, your average pace is the one minute segment, 30 seconds faster is your faster segment, and you're going to keep repeating those. What I want you to realize here is that I'm giving this as an example, so you can definitely play with how much faster your fast speed is. But a general tip to keep in mind is that you're not going at an all out sprint for that 30 second fast interval. It's something that is a pace you would like to achieve that's probably doable potentially for your 5K run if you're really pushing yourself, but it's still a running pace, not a sprint. Now you're probably wondering how long do you have to do this for? Just to keep it simple, what I would do is take that time that you ran during your three miles, cut off time for a warm up and cool down, so three to five minutes on either end of that segment. So for the person who was running the 30 minute three mile race, they would cut off, let's say, six minutes and run 24 minutes as their actual interval training and do one minute regular pace, 30 seconds faster pace throughout those 24 minutes with their three minute cool down, walk slash jog at the end. All right, so that's interval training as a speed workout. Hopefully that makes sense to you. You're not going at an all out sprint. And like I have kind of alluded to, there's lots of ways to do interval training, but this is a good way to do it. Keep it simple for you. If you don't have access to a track and you just have a basic watch, you should be able to do that one minute average 30 second fast as a good interval training. So hopefully that helps you with that. So let's look at answer number two to the question. How do you improve your 5K running time? The second strategy I would incorporate is something called striders. And that means you're just doing a nice stride, a nice running segment. And usually when we do striders, we section off about 100 meters, so about the long end of your running track. And all you're going to do is run this 100 meters, starting out at a nice, easy pace, building your pace so your fastest pace is at the middle of that strider but not an all out sprint, and then slowing down for your last 50 meters. 
Striders are something you're always going to do on warm muscles, so don't just get out the door and start doing striders. So it's a good thing to do after a nice, easy training run, so not the day that you are doing your interval training, and just do about 10 of them at the end of your run to just work on that feeling of picking up the pace in your legs. And it's a great strategy because it's just going to help you out, have your legs feel fresh, but when you do go and do your interval training run, you feel pretty good, pretty solid about that. And that leads me to my third strategy to help you increase your 5K running time. And that is to include negative splits in your training. When you run negative splits in your training, that just means that your first split, your first segment of your run, whether that's a kilometer or a mile, is your slowest. And your last split, your last kilometer or mile, is your fastest. And all the kilometers and miles in between become gradually faster. This is a great strategy to use on a daily basis, whether you're a beginning runner or a more advanced runner, because it really helps you work on something that's very difficult for even the most advanced runners, which is pacing when you get to your race day. It can be really difficult when the gun goes off and you're on that starting line to start off slower and then ease into your race and gradually get stronger when you run your race. But if you can practice that during your training runs, you will be a lot better off. And so I, I highly recommend this strategy. The other reason why I love doing negative splits for training is that if you just gradually increase your pace, mile to mile, kilometer to kilometer, you could use this strategy every single day and it will just help you increase your running confidence at a given speed, but not cause you to overtrain and do too much speed work. So if you're a beginning runner trying to implement the strategy of running negative splits during your training, what I'd have you do is look at your most recent running time, your average pace there, and make a goal to run your first mile or kilometer at that average mile or kilometer time from your last training run. So not a really difficult training run, but just a run where you felt really good, ran really strong and see if you can increase your speed for your 5K training run by just a second to five seconds per split. But that'll just give you some, some practice being aware of your speed. If you're just increasing one split to the next, one mile or kilometer the, to the next by a second to five seconds or so, you can really use that any day and it will just help you increase your confidence without overtraining. Now that you know my three tips to help you increase your 5K running time, interval training, running striders, and running negative splits, it's time to take action now. Leave me a comment below this video letting me know which strategy you are going to incorporate on your next training run. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who's also a runner because sharing is caring. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to hear about how you're going to implement these tips, your next 5K race. Hopefully the tips help you and you can give me a good, some good feedback on the fact that your time actually did improve. And don't forget, if you want more personalized running advice for your actual current pace and your personal goals and any injuries that you might have suffered from in the past, definitely reach out and book a session with one of the Fit Armadillo personal trainers. At this point, we actually are all runners, even our yoga instructor. So you'll definitely be in great hands and you can get more one-on-one -on -one attention so you can have a really well-rounded fitness routine, running routine, and so you can go out and hit that next PR and avoid injuries. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye.